Why do I hate Islam? Hmm, good question. What's there not to like about Islam? Now let's get one thing clear. I'm not talking about Muslims people. Uh, I'm talking about Islam, the ideology. So I differentiate between, on the one hand, Muslim people, I don't have a problem with, with Islam, the ideology, um, I'm not so sure about really. Um, let's start with a few basic facts. Uh, Allah is the, uh, the God of, uh, of the Muslim and Muhammad is his messenger. Okay, so far? Right. So we read this in uh, Surah 4733. Uh, o you who believe, obey Allah and obey Muhammad, the messenger. Uh, you see, to Muslims, Muhammad is the great example, on, uh, on perfect example, on how to live your life and conduct yourself. Um, indeed, in the messenger of Allah, Muhammad, you have a good example to follow. So says Islamic text. All right. So, so to obey Allah, you must obey uh, Muhammad as well. So to answer this the question, uh, why do I hate Islam? I've got to compare the God of the Christian with the God of the Muslim. The God of the Muslim is um, when he's appeasing. So he wants to see good deeds outweighing your bad deeds uh, in order to decide whether he's going to let you into paradise. And even then, uh, if then um, he is still could say no. But the only way to guarantee your way in, into paradise um, is to kill in the name of Allah. Now we read this in um, Islamic texts, it says this, uh, and if you are killed in the cause of Allah or die, uh, then forgiveness from Allah and mercy are better than whatever they accumulate in this world. So that's from the Quran, Surah 3, 1, 5, 7. So to kill in the name of Allah will guarantee you a ticket into, into, into paradise. But, however, we have a problem. What's that? Well, I'm glad you asked. The problem is, uh, Allah is the chief of deceivers. Well, where do we get that from? Well, we get that from Islamic texts again. We read, and they, the unbelievers, uh, plan to deceive. And Allah planned to deceive the unbelievers. And Allah is the best of deceivers. And um, we read that in Surah 354 uh, from the Quran. So um, when I read that to um, Muslims, Muslims say, no, 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 you've got to use the English translation of planners. So Allah is the chief of planners, but the problem is we're told to read the Quran in its original tongue, its original language, uh, which is therefore Arabic. So therefore we go to the uh, original root word for that, and that is deceivers. So um, Allah is the best of deceivers, or to put it another way, Allah is a great big liar with his pants on fire, and Muslims never know um, whether they're going to go into battle and why should they because uh, not even Muhammad knew uh, we read this as well because it says I am not something uh, original among the messengers this is Muhammad speaking nor do I know what will be done with me or with you uh, I only follow what is revealed to me and I am not a clear waller so that's from the Quran so there are 46 9 so what's happening here well Muhammad is basically saying, and remember how important Muhammad was, um, even he didn't know whether he was going to be let into paradise. So spare a thought for our Muslim brothers and sisters, and also spare a prayer for them as well, uh, who are in a perpetual worry about whether they are going to be let into paradise or not. Uh, because not even Muhammad was sure. So, uh, but what did Jesus say? Well, Jesus says um, in uh, Acts uh, 16, uh, 31, uh, it says, uh, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. So Jesus is saying, um, take me as your Lord and Saviour, repent of your sins and I will get
guarantee you a ticket into heaven. That's, that's basically it. Um, so um, that's me. Uh, I'm in. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I hate Islam. Um, but not Muslims. 